the session was extremely uh, interesting because you heard um, different perspectives on what machine learning can do or actually what it has already done for the clinicians. And we had examples um, in uh, uh, fields such as pathology, and Google actually is leading uh, the way in there. Uh, examples in echocardiography, MRI, CT, and of course uh, we have presented uh, um, our latest findings in nuclear cardiology and CT. Some of the results from Google with the, you know, with the digital pathology were quite striking to show how much better the, the deep learning is in you know, finding these lesions uh, as compared to experienced pathologists. For me that was uh, quite interesting to see that there's, a, that there's a quite a, a big performance gap and also how variable the users are in this in this uh, area. These images are huge. They have like 150,000 by 150,000 pixels. So you can see that uh, clinicians uh, are not necessarily, you know, most optimally trained for this kind of thing because uh, because it's there's a, this tiny little uh, needles in the haystack which computers are very good at picking up. So that was, I think, was quite interesting. Uh, and I think also they've seen some of the tools from the vendors like IBM, Watson, and Arteries, which are quite advanced in what they can do. My opinion is that this will be, uh, the physician's job are not in jeopardy. They're getting uh, new tools. These tools will allow them to diagnose patient better. If patient it benefits from, uh, you know, from those tools, the physician wins. I think happy patient is a happy physician. If you have a better diagnosis, better treatment, rather than, you know, sort of a, a, um, a suboptimal diagnosis, I don't think physician should be should be threatened by that. I think physicians should be happy 